Today we're talking about the brand new Rode Streamer X and comparing it to the Elgato Camlink 4K. We're going to talk about the features of each, the price points of both, and we're going to give you the pros and cons of which one is the right choice for you. Let's get it started. Internet, welcome back. It's your boy Robert Tiger, and today we are talking about the Camlink 4K versus the Rode Streamer X. If you're new here, welcome. I post content on a weekly basis on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative. And like I mentioned, we are going to be comparing the things about the Camlink 4K and the Elgato Experience versus the Rode Streamer X. And in this video, I'm going to explain the price points, the features that I like, the features I don't like, and we'll give a pro and con list and which is better, the Rode Streamer X, which is a brand new product for me. If you haven't checked out the other videos about the Rode PodMic USB and the Streamer X, they're linked down below and above. Check them out. Now, as I mentioned before, the Rode Streamer X is an all-in-one audio video capture device, and they're giving you options up the wazoo in terms of ways that you can connect your devices. You've got an HDMI feed for your cameras, and you have multiple audio interfaces from your XLR, your USB type C's, your headsets for TRRS supports, and you can use Wi-Fi connectivity with the Rode Wireless Go version 5. The other thing that it has built in and integrated is the Rode Revolution preamps, which are fantastic. And you also have the triggering pads that not only are they used for different sounds and sound effects that trigger, but you can also use them in presentation mode, which is something that I just found out today, which is fantastic. So you can flip through and start presentations as well. Rode has also provided two different software options in Rode Central and Unify. Rode Central is a way of you can configuring your Rode Streamer X so that you can customize it to your liking, adding different effects on your voices, different streaming environments from gaming, streaming, presentations, video calls, all sorts of things, and also gives you the ability to trigger presentation modes as well. Now, Unify is a way of you kind of utilizing the software to control what your streaming environment is doing. Think of it as like a ATEM Mini Pro type of a situation from Blackmagic that allows you to kind of move things and trigger it along. Admittedly, I haven't tried that out, but it is available now in beta for Mac, but also in full use for PC. Now, one of the things I really love about the Rode Streamer X is that it's just one connectivity point into my computer. I have a USB type C that goes into the back of my Mac Studio Ultra, I think is the one that I have. Whereas if I have to do the same thing for the Elgato experience, I have to have a USB type A, which not a lot of people have, which means that you're in dongle land, which I don't really know how many people are still very fond of this. So I've got to plug this thing in and really, as you can see, this is just a capture card. There is no audio interface for the Elgato Camlink 4K or Elgato HD60. Uh, so I need to then have some sort of an audio device, which is another port that I need to report into. Report into? There's another port that I need to plug into. I need to have a microphone that can go back into some sort of, so I, I don't have all of the options with one connectivity point in USB type C as I do with the Streamer X. Now piggybacking off the fact that Elgato has multiple different devices, it's clear that they are the market leader within this space. Not only do they have capture cards, but they have microphones, they have stream decks and multiple stream deck options, lights, etc. all things that are geared towards streamers and options for flexibility for you to have them. However, there are multiple different devices that you need to purchase and it's not an all-in-one solution. But with that being said, it's clear that people trust them. They integrate very well with different software experiences like OBS, Discord, etc. And so it's a great option for people that are looking for flexibility. Now, without a new product like Rode still has some work to do. And one of the things that I don't love is that there've been multiple times where I've gone to sign into a video call or sign on to some something else and I can't launch either the audio or the video portion of what's going on. I have to unplug and reset the Streamer X, which not only is annoying, it's also a little bit embarrassing as a video professional having my video devices not necessarily work. I reached out to Rode and see if they could kind of trigger some sort of support with this. And I have been communicating with them uh, actually as early as this morning. And I'm getting a lot of kind of run around and do you have the right software and the right firmware? And are you connecting it with this particular device? all those sorts of things which are good that they're responding, but it's not necessarily helpful in terms of the solution. So second, and to me, this is something that's incredibly obvious is that when I hit pads for sound effects or different types of audio triggers, I can't hear them through my monitoring system unless I'm wearing a pair of headphones. Now, this may seem like it's pretty obvious to you, like, of course, why would I want that bleed? 
but I'm running the Streamer X into my Mackie Big Knob so that I can hear what's going on. My Mackie Big Knob then feeds my Yamaha HS50s. And so the people on the other end of my call can hear those effects, but I can't hear them at all unless I have some sort of headphones hooked up. And I don't really like wearing headphones when I'm on these calls or when I'm streaming because I just don't really want that sort of experience. So I think that's kind of silly. I think that you should be able to just run a line out into an additional monitoring system so that I could hear them too. But that's another thing that I found is a little bit quirky. Maybe it's not something that bothers you because you're wearing headphones all the time, but I can't hear the voice effects and or any of the drops that I put in there. And that's kind of sort of annoying. Now let's talk price points. As I mentioned, the Elgato is a much simpler solution. For $99, you get this capture card. There's a bunch of other knockoffs online that you can find that I can't vouch for. Uh, and you just plug this thing into a USB type A and you're good to go and you're streaming and you've got your stuff that's going on. Now, like I mentioned, there is no audio component for this as well. And especially if you want to have anything that is kind of utilizing triggers or different buttons to push things through, you're either going to need a USB microphone and a Stream Deck, or you can look at the Stream Deck Plus, which has audio interfaces and eight different buttons to, that are programmable that you can trigger to do different things within your particular video calls. Now, $100 for this and $200 plus for the Streamer or the Stream Deck Plus puts you right around $300. Let's compare that to what the Rode Streamer X looks like. Now for $399, the Rode Streamer X comes out of the box, ready to plug in via USB Type-C and connect to your various devices. $100 more, but what you're receiving is the software that's involved in such thing, like I mentioned with Rode Central and Unify. You're getting the Revolution preamps and you're getting a bunch of different connective points from an audio standpoint, as well as the built-in triggers and presentation modes that you can utilize with the Streamer X. Now, all of these products are linked down in the description below. They are affiliate links, but they do really help out the channel. And let's talk about some pros and cons as a summary. Now, the Rode Streamer X is an all-in-one video audio capture device that is brand new, but definitely offers a huge punch in terms of what it does and the price point that is there. I personally think that if you're somebody that is looking for simplicity and ease of use with a bunch of different options, the Rode Central, not Rode Central, the Rode Streamer X might be the one for you. However, if you need flexibility in your setup and you want an entire system of products that can easily be integrated and configured to your your streaming needs, I think you might be better off with the Elgato system. Is it better or worse? That's really something for you to decide and for you to be able to figure out on your own what use cases you're going to be using these types of things for. But for the money and the experience, I'm really liking the Rode Streamer X. And I think with a couple firmware updates, it's really going to be a power horse in this industry and give Elgato a run for its money. And with that in mind, ladies and germs, this is another video in the can. Thank you so much for tuning into Tea Garden Lane. If you found value value out of this video and something that you think that you would love, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel so you can be aware of what's going on. Ring that bell for posting notifications. If you like the video, like the damn video, and I will see you guys next week for the next video, whatever the hell it is that I'm putting out. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.